I'm Collins and Name. Welcome to Mixed Emoji, the show that tells you which icons are iconic. Here's a little episode about insects. We start with the bug known appropriately as bug. No matter which emoji suite you use, it's gonna have a bug in. That was a computer joke. You'll notice that all of today's emoji were introduced in Unicode 6.0, the most creepy crawly Unicode update. The bug emoji generally portrays a generic caterpillar-like crawler bug, but some show more leggy arthropods. Centipede, millipede... Not insects! Samsung throws out any pretense of realism and has this clown-faced bug straight from a primary school wall display. Algae's caterpillar is in blackface in 2016. HTC's bug is too spiky. I assume these are meant to be feet, but they just look like barbs. This looks like the world's worst gummy sweet. Twitter bug, five feet, and it just looks like a worm who's evolving a little. Facebook's bug is bizarrely coiled. Mozilla, is that a worm with tiny arms? Emoji one, oh look, it's waving at you. But somehow it has eight legs. And that face would be stuck staring at the ground whilst it walked. Apple wins. Now there's a bug. Surprisingly, there's no butterfly emoji just yet, so this larva will have to remain such for now. Now the ant emoji. Microsoft have a fire ant, Google have a water ant. Actually, that blue one might be a reference to a bug's life. LG thought they could just keep drawing legs until they're six, and it doesn't really matter where they're placed. There's a wide variety of theories as to where on the thorax an ant's legs connect. Emoji 1's ant is giving one last wave before it collapses due to its completely off-balance body and limbs. I like the Samsung one, as it has a big cute eye. The B emoji can be used in phrases such as B right back, B seeing you, B there or B square, and I'll be the hyena, you'll see. Apple's B has had a bit too much B bread. Google, why are the outlines yellow? This could work with a black outline. Microsoft, pretty good, given the simple style. Samsung, that is a penguin dressed as a bee. Another chub bee. This one's going, hey, what's the matter? Another flab bee. This is like a dart or something. And this is just horrible. Not a great emoji in total. Let's go Microsoft. Yay! Now we look at the honey pot. That's not an insect. Look, who makes this show? Well, I do. Well, technically I do too. The honey pot emoji was made by a honey bee, it says. In real life, though, a bee will make less than a gram of honey in its lifetime, and is unlikely to have any skills in pottery. Many of these jars are shown as overflowing due to some very lazy kitchen upkeep. HTC, this vertical line is not how dripping works, especially on a clearly curved surface. Pay attention. This one's dull. Uh, apple. Yeah. The lady beetle, which is apparently now what we call ladybirds or ladybugs because it's a beetle and they're technically not true bugs and they're also technically not true birds. You'd think if they went renaming it for the sake of accuracy, they'd also remove the bit of the name that implies they're all female and upper class. Ladybirds are quite lucky. A lot of people would be repulsed by a beetle but show them a beetle with specific warning markings to demonstrate its toxicity, and were fond of it. This Microsoft one is incomplete. Or maybe it's just Patman having a very bad day. Samsung, Twitter, Mozilla, Emoji One, no. A ladybird's markings are symmetrical. I'm going for Google. Cartoony without being inaccurate, it's cute and triumphant. Yeah. Right, we've completed our debugging. If you like this video, well, you can't have it.